What's up everybody? So I have been obsessed lately with side hustles and entrepreneurship, especially since, you know, we're going through a hard time now with the virus and the things that are going on in our economic structure. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that, that is probably the best idea I have seen in a long time to make money or side money or your number one hustle. And if this helps just one person, that's all that matters to me, maybe get somebody well on their way to like a better financial place or just find this very interesting because this channel's always been about learning and learning from my experiences and anything I can do to help other people out there are looking for hope or inspiration. This is something that I think that could change some people's lives and if you have the gumption and the want to to go out there and try this idea, you're gonna crush it. I mean, I see very few people doing this and uh, it is something that you can put in your kit bag to where you can put put it forward if you need it or if you want to. So in this video, the pallet business is what I'm gonna talk about. This is something where the product is free and sometimes they'll even pay you to get rid of. So in this video, I'm gonna share everything I know about an idea that could make you $1,000 a day or as much or as little as you want to. This is something that, that I think is probably the best idea I have seen on the internet to make money. See this book right here, The Box, inspired this idea and I've heard of a couple people doing it, but not too many people talking about it. And as a former logistics officer myself and logistics guy and just all around entrepreneur, I know a good idea when I see it. And no, this is not one of those like ideas of get rich quick scheme like you see a lot of guys on the internet trying to tell you that you can get rich flipping stocks. This is something that you can actually flip. This is a tangible object that needs a place to go and, and needs to create a market. See, see, in order to get money, you have to exchange value. Really, in today's economy, if you give somebody enough value, they will give you money for it. All you gotta do is find a place for it to go, a home, and there's three different ways that you can do this. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna do my best to explain this and see if we can rock it. Here we go. All right, so my name's Jack. I do all kinds of videos here on the internet. I just love sharing with the world everything I got to say, do, and hear. And this video, man, this is a real good one. Um, this should be the biggest video on the internet for hustlers. This is a legit business. Um, the pallet business is something that has been, I don't really think it's been put out there because it's not something you normally think of. See, we think of something cool and tangible and it sounds cool to all our friends. But the transport business is something that uh, happens every day and it's all over the place. And a pallet, and when I mean a pallet, I mean one of these things. It's the thing that everything is shipped on. So blow your mind fact, 60% of just about all lumber in America goes into making pallets and repairing pallets. So before we even start, building pallets and uh, fixing pallets are, are something that people are starving for. See, when things are shipped, they go on a pallet, they go to a big business uh, or like a hardware store, a Lowe's, a Walmart, a furniture shop, a safe shop, whatever that's being transported, it goes on a pallet. And when it gets to these places, they just get stuck in yards and their products constantly coming in. They offload it, pallet goes to the side and it's got nowhere to go. Okay, so if you are a big box store or, or a store or thing, people doing a lot of inventory, you've got a, pro, you've got a pallet problem. And these pallets just stack up in yards and they will literally beg people to get rid of them. Why? Because it costs money to dispose of stuff. And if you've ever been in the real estate business, which I am uh, as a flipper and a real estate guy, realtor uh, here in Florida, you have to pay for things to get thrown away. You've got to go to the dump and, and dispose of it. You got to recycle it. You got to pay somebody to take it there. You, got, you just got a problem of getting rid of stuff. If you buy a hoarder house, you got a problem with stuff. So these companies have big problems with dunnage and pallets. So if you can create a market for these things that people are getting away, and this goes with sawdust, pine straw, it goes with all kinds of stuff like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find you a book of business. You're gonna go around town, everywhere you see pallets stack up, you're gonna go and ask who's in charge here and can I get rid of those pallets for you? And I will tell you, in some places, they will pay you 
to get rid of these pallets, okay? And that's just step one. Or they might give them to you for free, or they might charge you a buck a piece for these things. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go to a pallet yard, okay? A pallet yard is uh, someplace that will take these pallets from you, they'll broker them is what they'll do, and they'll sell them to somebody else, or they'll redistribute them back to the stores, or they'll fix them and redistribute them. They have a market for the pallet. So if you're just wanting a quick flip, you go and find these people with pallets, you take it to a pallet yard and you sell it to them, right? You might get it for free over here and you'll sell it to them for six bucks, five bucks, four bucks, seven bucks, whatever they're willing to pay and you can create uh, uh, a profitable flip for you. That's what you wanna do. See what you're doing here, you are in the scavenger business. You're finding things, almost like a scrap guy. You're finding things that uh, are sitting around that you know you can flip and make for a profit and it's a pretty simple transaction. Now, you need a truck and a trailer, or you can rent a truck and rent a trailer because you're going to be doing this every so often or every day if you want to, depending on how big you want to get into it. I've heard of people just doing this on the way home, see some pallets somewhere, 50 or 60 people are getting rid of, they pick them up, they take them to the pallet yard, they offload them. You know, like a couple hundred bucks here, a couple hundred bucks there, and then there's some guys who do five, six, seven trips in a day just bustling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, it, it, they're really pretty easy to onload and offload because they're not too, too heavy. Okay, so another business you can do off of this is you can repair the pallets. You, you go to these places that have these pallets. When they bring them in, some of them are broken from forklifts. You can repair them and sell them back to these places because usually when they offload stuff off the pallets, they put stuff back on the pallets and then they ship them back out. So that's another hustle of repairing pallets. See, the value you're creating here is you're solving a problem for somebody bringing in an inventory and they got too many pallets. And then you're solving a problem for the pallet people, the pallet yard, because they need inventory to sell. And then you can also flip those things into like contractors that are doing ship lapping, people that are doing hobbies and making all kinds of stuff out of pallets. They make garden stuff, they make like I said, ship lapping, they make home decor, they make, um, uh, I've seen barns made out of these things. People are using pallets for everything now because they're cheap and they're everywhere. And uh, some people even burn them in fire pits, you know, like uh, the non-treated kind. But I, it's just, just very interesting stuff. So the book I was talking about is called The Box. I'll link it below. It's pr probably one of the best books you'll ever read on logistics. And Bill Gates actually uh, said it's one of the greatest books I, he ever read. And it basically talks about dun dunnage and logistics and long haul and everything us Iraq guys knew going to Iraq and had to figure out on the ground is in this little book. This one was written in the 90s. It hasn't really been updated for Amazon and stuff like that because the box, let me tell you, without the box, <laughs> this place would be going nowhere. There'd be no Amazon Prime. There'd be none of the, the box is one of the greatest creations ever, especially cardboard or the 40 foot container, 20 foot container, things that ship stuff over long distance. Okay, so to break this down Barney style and to conclude this video, you need a way to haul them, truck, trailer, van pulling a trailer, chicken pulling a trailer, horse and carriage, however you wanna get the stuff from point A to point B. You gotta go and find you some pallets to talk to everybody that's got a pallet. Think of anything that ships anything anywhere, probably the smaller end of the spectrum, because I'm sure like the big Lowe's and Walmarts and Home Depots have a redistributor because they're just too big. But go to like hardware stores, go to, oh, go to nurseries like plant nurseries and places that sell feed, feed stores, things like that. Go look around for these things in the back of their buildings and if they've got them stacked up, they might have a problem and you might be able to solve that. So go grab the pallets and then go find you a place to get rid of pallets because one of the number one things about flipping stuff is knowing where to get rid of it when you get it, i.e. where to sell it, where to solve your problem of holding it and in as quick a time as possible. See. They're gonna hold the inventory for you, so you don't need a warehouse, really. You go and get it from their yard, and you're gonna take it straight to the other yard, and you're gonna hold on to this stuff for a minimal amount of time. This is the way I would do it. You got your truck, you got your trailer, know how many you can haul at one time, know your price point, and know how much to where you can make money, and then just start the process going back and forth. See, the key thing here is just like wholesale and real estate is having a buyer's list, and you've created this buyer's list, and once you get the buyer's list, you can move into the other part of this whole business. See, if you've got 
too many pallets that you can't handle, you can broker the pallets. You got a buyer, you got a buyer, you got a buyer, you're the seller, and you're, you're just linking two parties to it, and you're gonna find pallets, and you're going to just let each other know that you got pallets, and you're just gonna cut a, cut a, a piece off the top. So let's say you're getting six, you wanna cut a dollar a piece off, or two dollars a piece off, so, end items being sold for six, you're gonna make your two, you're gonna no, do nothing and make two bucks a pop, or you're gonna make five bucks a pop, or whatever the the margins are in between there for you to actually come up with a deal. So like, let's say you can only do two trips in a day and you're gonna make 500 bucks, but you know there's more pallets over there and you got another dude that might wanna haul those pallets over there and you let him know that there's pallets and you've got a deal and then you cut the $2 finder fee or $5 finder fee or 2% or 5%, whatever the deal may be. And then he gets to make a deal, he makes a little money, you make a little money, they make a little money, everybody's happy. And you didn't do anything. See, the whole trick of making money is to do as little as possible and make as much as possible, right? And there's no risk on the table, you didn't hurt yourself, you didn't spend your gas, you didn't have to maintain your vehicle in that expenditure. So if you can do them both at one time, now you're cooking, baby. So I hope this video helped. Um, I thought this was a really cool idea. This is something you can actually do like today or tomorrow. This is not like something where you're going to buy, you know, five stocks of Weeble and hopefully make 0.2% of five bucks. This is actually something you can go out there and crush it and make 500 bucks tomorrow. So think about this. Uh, comment down below. Comment down below if you've ever done this. I think it's an amazing idea. This is probably the best ones I've come up with in a long time. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. You won't believe it, but somebody stole the green egg yesterday. We're coming up with that video. It's actually my neighbor's green egg. Thieves. That was it was crazy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What a view to go for a run. That's what I'm talking about.